Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1790, John Tyler is born. He grows up to be the 10th president of the United States. In 1795, at 24 years old, Ludwig von Beethoven has his debut performance as a pianist in Vienna, Austria. In 1798, the Republic of Switzerland is formed today. In 1806, construction is authorized for the Great National Pike, better known as the Cumberland Road, which becomes the first United States federal highway. In 1827, 20,000 mourners attend Ludwig von Beethoven's burial in Vienna today. In 1847, 12,000 U.S. troops capture Veracruz, Mexico. In 1848, Niagara Falls stops flowing for 30 hours due to an ice jam. It wasn't a drought this time. In 1852, Ohio makes it illegal for children under 18 and women to work more than 10 hours a day. Good rule. In 1865, federal forces led by Major General Philip Sheridan moved to flank Confederate forces led by Robert E. Lee as the Appomattox Campaign begins during the American Civil War. 7,000 582 soldiers die. In 1867, with the passing of the British North America Act, the British colonies of Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and Canada were united as the Dominion of Canada. Also in 1867, baseball Cy Young was born today. And in 1867 as well, the U.S. Congress approves the building of the Lincoln Memorial. In 1871, the Royal Albert Hall is opened by Queen Victoria. In 1882, the Knights of Columbus is established today for Catholic men. In 1886, Dr. John Pemberton brews the very first batch of Coca-Cola in his backyard in Atlanta, Georgia. I guess he was out of beer. In 1912, British explorer Robert Scott makes his final diary entry before dying in the South Pole. In 1918, Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart and Sam's Club, was born. In 1929, the Boston Bruins win their first Stanley Cup championship by beating the New York Rangers 2-1 for a 2-0 series sweep. In 1932, Jack Benny debuts on the radio during Ed Sullivan's New York interview program. In 1936, Adolf Hitler receives 99% of the votes in a referendum to ratify Germany's illegal reoccupation of the Rhineland. Either he was just that popular or it was a bogus vote. In 1942, British cruiser HMS Trinidad is torpedoed in the Barents Sea. And oh yeah, it torpedoed itself. In 1943, meat, butter, and cheese rationing begins in the United States during World War II. In 1945, after joining the Army as a private, just four years later, American movie star Jimmy Stewart is promoted to full colonel. In 1951, Julius and Ethel Rosenberg were found guilty of espionage and sentenced to death for sharing U.S. military secrets with the Soviet Union. Also in 1951, Rodgers and Hammerstein's musical The King and I debuted on Broadway and lasted for 1,246 performances at that theater. In 1951 as well, at the 23rd Academy Awards, All About Eve, Judy Holliday, and Jose Ferrar win. In 1957, the New York, Ontario and Western Railway makes its final run and then is just completely abandoned. In 1959, Some Like It Hot, the movie starring Marilyn Monroe, Tony Curtis and Jack Lemmon is released. In 1961, the 23rd Amendment was certified which allows residents of Washington, D.C. to vote in presidential elections. Also in 1961, after a four and a half year trial, Nelson Mandela is acquitted of treason in Pretoria, South Africa. In 1962, tonight is Jack Parr's final appearance on The Tonight Show. In 1963, today is the final episode of soap opera, Young Dr. Malone. In 1966, the play, It's a Bird, It's Superman, opens at the Alvin Theater in New York City for 129 performances. In 1971, Charles Manson and his three female followers are sentenced to death in a California gas chamber. The sentence is never carried out. 
Also in 1971, unfortunately it is overshadowed in newspapers by Manson's sentence, but First Lieutenant William L. Colley Jr. is found guilty for the My Lai Vietnam Massacre. In 1973, American troops evacuated Saigon as the United States finally ended its involvement in the Vietnam War. In 1974, the Terracotta Army is discovered by farmers in China. Also in 1974, after being launched on November 3, 1973, today NASA's Mariner 10 becomes the first space probe to fly by Mercury. And in 1974 as well, The Great Gatsby, starring Robert Redford and Mia Farrow, is released to theaters. In 1975, the song Lady Marmalade by LaBelle reaches number one on the U.S. singles chart. In 1976, at the 48th Academy Awards, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, its stars Jack Nicholson and Louise Fletcher, and director Milos Foreman all win Oscars. In 1978, The Carol Burnett Show airs its final episode on CBS in the United States, having won 25 Emmy Awards. In 1981, Peter Stone's musical Woman of the Year opens at the Palace Theater in New York City and lasts for 770 performances. In 1982, at the second Golden Raspberry Awards, Mommy Dearest wins for the worst movie. That one kind of surprises me. Also in 1982, at the 54th Academy Awards, Chariots of Fire, Henry Fonda, and Katherine Hepburn win. In 1984, the NFL's Baltimore Colts moved to Indianapolis. In 1986, Beatles records officially go on sale in Russia for the first time. In 1987, at the seventh Golden Razzie Awards, Howard the Duck wins for worst movie. That one does not surprise me. In 1989, Soviet hockey players are now permitted to play for the NHL. Also in 1989, at the 61st Academy Awards, Rain Man wins Best Picture, Best Actor for Dustin Hoffman, Best Director, and Best Screenwriting. And in 1989 as well, at the 9th Golden Raspberry Awards, Cocktail wins for Worst Movie. And three years later in 1992, at the 12th Golden Raspberry Awards, Hudson Hawk wins for Worst Movie. In 1993, Catherine Callbeck becomes Premier of Prince Edward Island and is the first woman to be elected as premier of a Canadian province. Also in 1993, at the 65th Academy Awards, Unforgiven, Al Pacino, and Emma Thompson win. Wow, this date is full of Academy Awards and Razzies. In 1994, Coach Jimmy Johnson quits the Dallas Cowboys. In 1996, NHL's The Cleveland Browns become the Baltimore Ravens. In 1998, the Vasco da Gama Road Bridge opens in Lisbon, Portugal, and is the longest bridge in Europe. In 1999, the great one, Canadian ice hockey player Wayne Gretzky, scored the final goal of his career and retired at the end of the season. Also in 1999, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closes above the 10,000 mark for the very first time. In 2002, in response to the Passover massacre from two days prior, Israel launches Operation Defensive Shield against Palestinian militants, which is its largest military operation in the West Bank since the Six-Day War in 1967. In 2004, Ireland becomes the first country to ban smoking in all workplaces, including bars and restaurants. In 2005, Mariah Carey releases her song, We Belong Together, and it becomes the Billboard Song of the Year. Two years later, in 2007, Rihanna releases her hit single, Umbrella, featuring Jay-Z, and it goes to number one on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 for seven weeks. In 2010, two female suicide bombers hit the Moscow Metro system at the peak of the morning rush hour, killing 40 people. In 2014, the first same-sex couples marry in the United Kingdom as a result of the passing of the Marriage Act of 2013. In 2017, Ivanka Trump assumes an unpaid position as advisor to U.S. President Donald Trump, her father. Also in 2017, a man's body is found inside a reticulated python in Indonesia. Yeah, inside of a snake. 
In 2019, U.S. presidential candidate Joe Biden is accused of an inappropriate kiss by fellow Democrat Lucy Flores. Also in 2019, singer-songwriter Billie Eilish releases her debut studio album, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? I kind of like that question. It's kind of like the, if a tree falls in the forest question. And in 2019 as well, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees include The Cure, Def Leppard, Janet Jackson, Stevie Nicks, Radiohead, Roxy Music, and The Zombies. In 2020, U.S. infectious disease expert Anthony Fauci warns that the U.S. may see between 100,000 and 200,000 deaths from COVID-19. In 2021, the megaship Ever Given is finally freed after nearly a week blocking the Suez Canal while 369 vessels wait to pass through. And lastly, in 2021, the trial of former police officer Derek Chauvin begins in Minneapolis for the murder of George Floyd. Hey, thanks for watching my video today, or at least listening to it if you didn't watch. I hope you subscribe to my channel and give me some thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. I've got a lot more videos out there for you to watch. And I think we're just now getting to the third month I've done these, so we have nine more months to go. Keep watching. I appreciate it. Talk to you tomorrow.